Uh, with Commander Masters, either already out by the time... Man, by the time this video is already out, Commander Masters is probably already going to be out. Because... I upload videos on time. What's happening to my microphone? But these are Commander Master cards I'm really excited for. I went through every single card, and I picked out the ones that I'm like, that, that's pretty, pretty poggers, so you should like and subscribe. And you know what? Stay to the end for my favorite new card that's going to be in Commander Masters, because it's, it's going to be a good one, and you should like and subscribe even harder. Also, also comment down below your favorite commander, or anything, really, because... I'll give it a heart and a like. I don't care. We're doing Commander Masters. Ah! Uh, all the glitters. Why did they make it a common? <laughs> Why is all the glitters a common? It's it's possibly new popper staple. I mean, oh oh my god, I'm a professional. Uh, slippery boggle and frogmite. So boggles and frogmite, they'll they'll probably want it. I mean, it gives plus one plus one for each artifacts and enchantments. So Boggles doesn't really care about artifacts, but they care a lot about enchantments. Frog, uh, affinity decks tend to care a lot about artifacts, so I don't know. May maybe th it'll be a new popper staple, because now it's a common. I think it's pretty cool. I play Boggles. Maybe I'll try it. And we got stuff like Royal Retainers. I love ro royal, ret ro royal Retainers. I love Royal Retainers. I know how to speak. Um, Royal Retainers. Loyal retainers. Uh, why? Why is it currently thirty dollars? And that's not including the uh, the, the masterpiece thing from Amonkhet that I actually just sold mine because I was like, oh, it, it won't be that bad. It'll be a bit of money. It was a really expensive card that I just sold, but you know, at thirty percent, thirty dollars currently, maybe it'll go down in price. Maybe more people will play it, and you know, see say. Uh, whatever deck the legendary creatures want maybe people will play it more because then i'll be more accessible so it's not 30 dollars. i know it's a good card but still um we also got captain of jingzu i don't a capture of it. i don't know names i'm american <laughs> uh five mana take an extra turn after this one uh it's currently 88 dollars that's really expensive i don't think time warp's that expensive so finally having another time warp situation sure it's not gonna it's not gonna be a problem so uh, possibly going down in price we can have more relevant and more casual commander i mean take an extra turn that sounds pretty poggers i'm j just saying well it's got stuff like cryptic serpent i mean it's it's, it's now it's a common it's a common so delver of secrets i'm i'm looking at you I mean, it's a Popper Delver Redundancy with Talarian Terror. I, that, that's what I'm thinking. So, pff, I don't know. Maybe they don't have to run Gurmag Anglers. So, they get rid of all their graveyard. Because they want things in their graveyard. Because of stuff like uh, Talarian Terror. And now Cryptic Serpent. And then that uh, that, that one card. They give fr Big Fractal for instant sorcery in graveyard. Uh, hell yeah. Cryptic Serpent. Hog. Uh, fall from favor. Uh... I might be coping hard for this card, but you become the monarch and it keeps the creature tapped. I'm just saying, it might finally make the popper cut. It might, if people might finally realize that this card is pretty cool. I mean, it's a, it'd be, go for mono blue Delver, possibly. It's a control piece and gives you the monarch because I know like Delver doesn't tend to deal with the monarch very much, and but other decks do. So getting the monarch, extra card draw. I'm just saying. And get and it's kind of removal too. I'm just saying it'd be pretty cool. Uh, Nadir's Nightblade. I didn't know that this card was an uncommon originally. It's now a common. Whenever a token you control leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. Um, I'm thinking Popper EDH stable. It definitely not gonna go in normal Popper stuff. But I don't know much about uh, Popper Commander. I don't, I don't deal with that. I deal with regular popper 60 car popper so maybe it might finally become a staple in popper edh i don't know anything about it but i love this card i love it in every single type of token deck well, black ish token deck that i ever play which isn't much but whenever i do i love this card awesome people should play this more also got like john and sorrow man i might be coping again because uh, maybe it's a mono black popper staple for sideboard I mean, so many people are playing uh, Suffocating Fumes, Shrivel, all that. Why not, for three mana for Suffocating Fumes, all the creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. I mean, if you're playing a control kind of deck, 
you won't care about your creatures getting it too, but you also scry one. So it's a bit of, you know, yeah, scrying is pretty cool. Maybe more people will play it now. I don't know, and I think it's a good card. Also, Crash of Rhino Beetles. This thing used to be a rare. Like, what? Five mana, five, five trample that could possibly get plus ten plus ten as long as you drop ten or more lands. Um, yes, please. Maybe mono green Stompy and Popper is viable now. I, again, I don't know anything about the uh, Popper EDH scene, so maybe it could be seen in that. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm coping hard again, bros. I want. I want to play all these decks, but people aren't letting me have fun. Let me have fun in my casual commander game. Everything. Just let me have fun. Let me play the game. Also, we got reprint commanders that I was like, you know what? People are going to have fun with this. So, crack the knuckles. Let's drink a little bit of hard lemonade and let's go through all the honorable mentions. So, we got commanders of <gasps> Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. We got Kozilek, the Great Distortioner. We got Morphon, the Boundless. We got Zakam, Zakam, uh, Primal Calamity. We got Yurko, the Tiger Shadow. We got Taysom Karlov. We got Queen Marchesso. We got Nekazar, the Mind Razor. We got Maelstrom Wanderer. We got Carador, Ghost Chieftain. Savala, Heart of the Wilds. Ashling, the Pilgrim. Freylis, Lana War Fury. Perfos, God of the Forge. Cranko, Mob Boss. Micaeus, the Unhallowed. Where'd it go? Oh, there. Urza, Lord High Artificer. Tetsuko Umazawa Fugitive. Uh, Sun Quan, Lord of Wu. That thing's fun, though. Uh, Safaro, Sky's Blade. We got a Heal of the Sun Crown. Ball and Wandering Knight. Uh, Avacyn, Angel of Hope. The freaking Ur Dragon. I'm sorry if that hurt your ears, but they're reprinting the Ur Dragon, guys. What? Did they not? <laughs> did they not think it was a bad idea the first time? And But they're like, you know what? No. It's not that bad now. The card's expensive for a reason. Keep it that way. But man, why would they do this? But all those commanders, those are my honorable mentions. Because the number one card I'm most looking for is, oh, ugh, it's number one pick out of all of the cards that I had to choose from the Commander Masters reprints. It's Dread Return, baby! Woo! Why did they print this as common? Why are they making this common? It is a popper reanimator with staple now that doesn't need exhum. Because with exhum, you basically had to have it in your hand, like in the start of the game. Then you had to get creatures in your graveyard. Now you don't really care about that. You could just play things, play a bunch of things in your graveyard. You only need like three creatures and then get a big one from the graveyard with flashback. This thing is going to be a reanimator. Auto include at this point. This thing is insane. I freaked out when I heard it. I have never popped off for a card harder in my life. This card is insane. This thing broke the f was it was a standard or modern when it came out. I don't remember. It, it broke a format. I do remember that. This card is broken. It's awesome, and you can now play it in popper. This is gonna be insane. I swear, if it doesn't break the format, it's going to need a ban at some point. This thing is value on value on value. Four mana to get a creature from the graveyard to the battlefield? I mean, you get anything you want. Anything. And then flashback of sacking three creatures to get, to get one? Uh, okay. You could play green black. You could play white black big stuff uh, for the tokens and all that. You could, you could play whatever you want with this. Dread return, auto include, any black deck basically. I'm, I'm calling it now. Anything that involves graveyard with black, auto include right there. But what happened? Where's where are my slides? Oh, that's is that the last slide that I made? Oh, okay. Well. Is go go back to uh go go back to this one like and subscribe thank you uh, bye bye.